Hey everyone, welcome back to Bobini Creates and welcome back to another Whip Day video. Happy Saturday. And today I am working on this page in um, Teddy Bear Therapy. No, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> so, so far with this work in progress, I've used my brand new um, candies, four candies pencils. These are the ones that are the um, mechanical pencils, colored pencils, and they've got a nifty little sharpener uh, that comes with it. So I had a lot of fun playing with that. This is my first page that I tried to, you know, do anything with those pencils. So I really had a good time. I, I really like them and they're nice and smooth and I did burnish this. Um, yeah, so anyway. What I wish that I would have done was a background first before I put any pencil down, but I was too excited to use those new pencils, so I, I have to go back in now and uh, try to create a, a background around this. So I'm using my Neo Color 2s, and this is the um, turquoise blue color, and I'm just going to use my really old carrot, um, Jane Davenport water brush. And I'm just going to activate this Neo Color 2. And honestly, I'm just going to do kind of a wash over this whole sky. And I'm just not going to worry about it. So ooh, let me put something down. And, you know, I think it'll be fine. Um, you know, my, my leaves might turn out to be a little bit blue-green. But I think that's fine, you know. Um, you know what? That needs more water. That definitely needs more water. Okay, let's try to lighten that up a little bit. Yeah, so um, anyway, that's sort of the general plan. This brush is probably a little bit too big to get in here, but we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway because that's kind of the way I roll. So there you have it. So yeah, those pencils are so fun, and the reason I thought that I would get them is I thought they'd be perfect for like on the go. So if you had an appointment or something, you could bring those with you and not have to worry about, you know, ha bringing along a sharpener um, or anything like that. And because it already is built in and it's just a nice little slim compact case. I'll have to show that to you on my channel. There's a, uh, some other YouTubers who have this set as well. And that's actually where I learned about them. And um, so you can check that out as well. But yeah, super, super fun little set. So that was a nice little purchase. And it was like 40% off on Amazon. So hey, that, that was even better. It's a good time for me to buy them, you know. So when I do these Neo colors um, and you're trying to get up to an edge, you know, something that you've already colored or an image that you don't want to get the color in, you can get kind of as close as you want and then find a, a pencil that fits and, and get into the close part. So for example, you know, maybe I'll only go like so far with my Neo Color and you can come in here with a, a pencil that matches and that way you're not, you don't have to worry about, you know, painting your, your image. So I've shared that tip with you before, but it bears repeating, I think. So, um, eh, this is a good way to use Neo Colors. I like to, I do them all different ways. I take the pigment directly from the crayon. Um, I really like scribbling on a little palette. Um, or you can, um, I lost my train of thought. You can <laughs> scribble on the page, color on the page, and activate that. You can scribble on your palette. Um, or you can pick up the the paint directly from the crayon itself. So any any of those methods will work. Um, if you were to pick it up directly from your crayon, that's going to be where it's the most intense. So most intense color. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, this is a nice softer look. Probably the 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 way that you would get the softest look I would I would say probably with your new color too. See and that little bit of pencil goes a really long way which is also 
pretty cool, you know. So, um, yeah, just kind of filling in. That wasn't as bad as I thought, I have to admit. I was kind of kind of dreading it a little bit. I was like, you know, that's going to be tedious, but it wasn't too bad, was it? We kind of did that in just a short period of time. Let's get a little bit more. You notice I didn't go over this spot, and that's because it's wet, and I don't really want to wet my crayon it. I mean, it wouldn't hurt anything, but um, that was my thinking about moving over to uh, the next section over. Let's get a little bit more water on there. I don't want that blue to be too dark. Okay. And we'll just finish this up a little bit. So I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I hope you've had some awesome coloring. Oh my gosh, I just stuck my hand in that. Oh well. <laughs> gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I try not, not to let anything rattle me when I'm coloring. It's my relax time and I'm about uh, being in the moment and enjoying, so that's fine. But I hope you had a good week. I hope you had good coloring. I'd love to, to know what you guys are working on. I had a kind of an exciting day yesterday, and a lot of you will know this because you were there, but I had my first live stream yesterday, and um, after several attempts to get set up and... Um, it, it just, you know, I was having, I was having a time of it to, to kind of get started. Once I did though, it was so fun hanging out with you guys. It just was a blast. Um, wonderful community, you know, and I just really, really enjoyed the time I was able to s spend with, you know, friends on the stream. And I look forward to doing that again really soon. So that'll be fun. Um, so be sure to check my community tab and I'll keep you updated when I'll stream uh, next, you know. Or, or you might just see me pop up impromptu and kind of stealthy like. You never know about me. I'm kind of tricky like that. So <laughs> and we'll just go around that little little butterfly. Now I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to do just a wash over this whole thing. We're not worrying about anything. We're not caring that I'm going over the leaves because they'll be just fine. They really will be. They'll, you'll still be able to get color on there perfectly well and or I will be, excuse me. So that is just fine. Okay. Hopefully, I'm still in frame. Okay, there we go. I just love Neocolor, too. Ugh. It's so versatile, you know. And, like, this is perfect. I, I totally, you know, could have made this more difficult on myself by trying to come in here with pencil to do this sky. But... I didn't want to. That would be pretty tedious, you know. So, um, yeah, so we're just going to go like this. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up with this. You don't necessarily need to see me do the whole thing here. And I'll be back with you. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I finished up the sky area. And I'll probably end up using the Neo Color 2 on the water as well. But I just uh, didn't want to necessarily do that on this video. But what I did want to share with you is those four candy pencil pencils. So um, I got my chart out. I have them swatched. This is the chart that comes with it. So you can see there's, you know, there's, what, 36 colors. And, you know, it doesn't have everything. But for a little travel set, I think it's super fun, you know. So I just wanted to demonstrate how you might do uh, the sharpening. So you want to kind of you know, punch the end like you would with a normal mechanical pencil. And then you're going to open up. Oh my goodness, of course. There you go. <laughs> you're going to open this up, which is your little pencil. Um, 
sharpener. So you can see there's a teeny tiny little sharpener in there. So we're just gonna go like this. Oops, let's get you back on camera and sharpen. And that's it. And then the bottom here is what holds the uh, the little tiny sharpening. So, and then just close it back up. And then it has this little handy spot right there to, to put it back in your case. It also comes with an eraser. You can see I haven't even opened that up. And the other really cool thing is that it comes with extra leads, you know, so that's super uh, amazing for an inexpensive little set. So let's just play with these. Um, let's see, I figured what I would do is just sort of do, you know, all the different colors at random here. So let's just try them out, you know, and they're so creamy for an inexpensive little pencil. I was shocked. You know, and so I just wanted to kind of show you, but isn't that neat? Just uh, a lot of pigment for, uh, yeah, it carries a lot of punch. So you could do that or solid leaves or let's take, let's use, you can see my sky is sort of variegated. <laughs> and I kind of like that painterly look. I'm, you know, happy that it's not, not all solid and even. Um, so we'll take excuse me, we'll take this lighter pencil on some of these areas that have a lighter sky so they just sort of show up better because I'm doing these at random anyway. You can do something like that and then you can come in with another color and I'm not trying to worry about it too much as far as, you know, what I'm using and I'm just kind of, kind of just trying to demonstrate a little bit but, you know, that's cute, right? That's a cute little leaf. And if I wanted to go back over it again, I could certainly do that. Smooth it out a little bit. Isn't that so fun? I know, I get ex I get excited over little things. Let's move this down. Oh, and I don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that. And if you're wondering what my little background is here, um, I know it's probably not the prettiest thing, but I love the way it feels. This is just like a heavy duty felt. And I love that like when I drop a pencil, it doesn't make a bunch of noise. It doesn't roll around. And so I thought I'd try it out for a little while and just see what I think. And so far I kind of like it. Um, yeah, you know, just something different. We'll see, we'll see if I keep it. I don't know how attractive it is on screen, but it can't be any worse than those grid lines on um, <laughs> my my little cutting mat, you know, that I usually use. So anyway, that is um, the way these work, and I'm I'm super excited, you know. So they're definitely going to come with me when we camp. I can see that already. You know, they'd be good, like, if you were a person that liked to color in the car. And by the way, I am not one of those people. I just, I don't like the motion <laughs> trying to color at the same time. And I feel sort of unsteady, you know. So, um, but if you did like it, this would be perfect, wouldn't it, you know. Or if you were going to a doctor's appointment or something else like that. Um, let's try to... You know, you could just slip these in your purse and people would be none the wiser, right? You know, because we do like to color on the go from time to time, do we not? Yeah, see, I'm just, you know, some of these don't show up over the, the I'm just having fun. <laughs> so this is um, so cute. So yeah, I'm just going to go through and color these at random here and, um, and just not make a big deal out of it. So I colored the grass with the, I think it was probably this shade. And I can see some little areas in there that need some touching up, but that's that's easy enough. I'm not trying to worry about it. And you know what? I'm also not trying to do my best coloring right now. I am playing because I'm enjoying these pencils so much. And um 
And the other thing I like about this little book is that it you can just have fun with it and you don't have to. You can do it as, you know, advanced as you want. You know, if you want to really spend a lot of time and make it look fancy, well, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But there, it's an, this is a nice little um, book for on the go as well because of the size, you know. Um, it's tiny. Tiny, tiny. So another one you could just sort of slip in your purse. along with your little pencil case. All right, I'm playing around here. So anyway, that's my whip, whip day video, and um, we'll call that a day, I think. I don't wanna keep you guys too long. I never like to do that, but thanks for joining me, and um, I will see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.